Crown Royal Peach and other flavored Crown Royals. Are these worth getting? Stay tuned for the Whiskey Whistle. Hi folks, Mark here, the host of Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing some whiskey awesomeness right here in Winnipeg, the heart of North America. Today we're looking at Crown Royal flavored whiskeys, especially Crown Royal Peach. That's a new one, but also some of these other really famous Crown Royal flavored Canadian whiskeys, such as Salted Caramel and Crown Royal Apple. All right, now we're going to unbox that one. I've never tried it before, but I hear really good things. So let's get that unboxed. We're gonna try it without any ice, and then we'll try it in the recommended cocktail, which is the Royal Peach Tea listed on the back of the box. All right, so let's get that open. No little bag for these guys. You just get the box. And in the case of Apple, no box, but Certainly a gorgeous label, beautiful color they've chosen there, of course, since it's the peach. All right, so very nice looking. And this box, I'm going to set aside because it's just a little bit cumbersome to have all this stuff here uh, for us. Maybe I'll put that up there. There we go. Okay, so first of all, we're going to get that bottle open. All right, so there we go. We got our uh, band of peaches at the top there. Plastic in my mouth. So we'll get that open. We'll try it neat. We'll try it also. Uh, the Crown Royal Apple and the Crown Royal Salted Caramel. We'll see how they are. These are all 35% ABV. They contain whiskey, water, sugar, natural, and artificial flavors. Okay. Really tight. Come on, there we go. It smells like huge. It smells like peach gum. Okay, I'm going to pour that in my classic malts selection glass. Now, that's the same company, Diageo. Better put a little more. There we go. Ooh, very peachy. Super peachy. Okay. And while I let that sit for a minute, I'll pour a glass of the salted caramel. That was kind of their winter special release. They seem to be doing really, really well with these. Which have you tried? Um, of course, they've got the vanilla. That seems to be a common sort of element amongst flavored whiskeys to have a vanilla. Let's see if I can do a balancing act here. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so salted caramel. I think I'll have to stagger these. Okay, pardon me. Okay, some salted caramel. A little more than that, I think. This is a Johnny Walker glass. Again, same company. Yep, same company. Did you know that? Diageo. Of course, Crown Royal. Now I'm in Manitoba, Winnipeg, Manitoba. The whiskey is made here in Manitoba in Gimli. Oh, and the Crown Royal Apple will have to open. So hang on here, stagger that. Okay. Another one I'll have to have a hard time opening. Okay, ah, there we go. Good. Now. This happens to be one of my parents' favorites. Oh, that's really hard to open. Oh, okay. Definitely not gonna leak. Okay, so we'll pour the apple. And there's a reason why I wanna pour some caramel and some apple. A little more, I think. Okay. There we go. So we got peach, we've got salted caramel, and we've got the apple here. Just enough room, a little tight. All right, so let's check these out. First of all, how do they smell? How do they taste? I'll start with the peach. 
super peachy. Don't really smell any whiskey. So if you're looking for whiskey scents with a hint of peat, this is not quite right. This is big old peach with a tiny little bit of whiskey in the background there. You really have to dig in to find that crown royal note. How about the palette? Let's try it neat. Cheers. Classic crown royal color, by the way, just a straight up dark amber. Hmm. Now, if there was no whiskey on the nose, we do have some whiskey flavors in the palate. Classic, I think it's like the base, uh, the base whiskey for Crown Royal. Hmm. A little bit of rye. You really get the whiskey coming on the finish. And I'm enjoying the sweetness. It's not too sweet. A little bit sweeter than I would like. But I think a lot of people would really enjoy that. Juice drink. Whiskey coming through there. And the finish, you do get a bit of a rye kick going on. Well, I like that. And I'm pretty sure that my parents will really like that in the summer as well. My parents love whiskey. I kind of introduced them into the world of single malt scotch. And they introduced me to the world of Crown Royal flavored whiskeys. I was in Korea and they brought me a bottle of Crown Royal Apple. Not my favorite, but their favorite. And I did like the apple notes. Okay, let's check out that salted caramel next. That's this guy here. Big caramel notes. Again, you really have to dig to find a whiskey note on the nose. Definite salted caramel really makes your mouth water. It makes you think of some kind of a, a salted caramel dessert or perhaps like a pudding. Caramel pudding, yes, with salt, exactly. Okay, and the taste. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. This one as well, that caramel note really carries through in the palate, and then somewhere around mid-palate, you start to get an inkling that you're drinking some whiskey. The finish again, hint of that rye kick, caramel, sugar, hint of salt. Hmm. Now, I do love that packaging. It's probably my favorite packaging. Hmm. I do like that. That might be my favorite. I know my buddy Mike out in, um, I think he's in Edmonton. Okay, now then the apple. Very sweet, by the way. Your lips get very sticky. So it's probably got about, oh, I don't know, a similar content of sugar as, let's say, oh, I don't know, Coca-Cola maybe. So I think that's about 10%. And that does kind of make sense when you think about the fact that it's 35% um, volume. 
Okay, so very apple -y smells coming from this. And it smells like a mix of Granny Smith and um, Macintosh. Largely the Granny Smith. Virtually no whiskey scents coming here. When I dig my nose in there, I do get a little bit of whiskey coming in. So a slight, kind of like a toasty note, toasted rye bread. Okay, on to the palette then for Crown Royal Apple. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. Now, this is a little bit warm. This is about room temperature. The salted caramel um, is about um, 16, 17. And the peach is somewhere between. And I think that this would be nice in the fridge if you're going to sip it neat. When it's, uh, when it's room temperature, it's a little bit overpoweringly sweet. You get a hint of some whiskey notes coming through and a tiny bit of that rye on the finish. But interestingly, it actually comes off as something kind of like, I don't know, like a bourbon cask matured single malt. Let's say a space side or a Highland. All right, so that's the three of those. Now, what's my favorite? I think they're all really good. If I had to choose a favorite, I think it's the salted caramel. This is colder, though, so that's one thing that's making this a bit, a little bit nicer on the palate and not quite as sweet so chill these babies if, th if that's what you're going to get stick it in the fridge you'll enjoy it much much more all right now we're going to get into some cocktail making bear with me for one second while i grab something from the freezer i'll be right back all right so we're going to try making the royal whoa royal peach tea <laughs> pardon me Okay, so let's get started. We don't have much time. My battery is running out. Okay, so we'll make the royal peach tea. We need one and a half ounces of crown royal peach, six ounces of iced tea, and fresh lemon. All right. Now, I'm using actual brewed tea with no sugar added. And if you want something sweeter, then you may want to get something like uh, Lipton's uh, iced tea mix and make some up. Okay. My kids made some brains ice cubes for me. I'm going to use those. Four of those. Okay, an ounce and a half. Yeah, that's the peach. I think I need a little bit more. In fact, I'm going to up it a little bit because I do tend to prefer um, slightly stronger drinks than, um, than typical. So I'm going to add just a little bit more as I spill it all over the place. There we go. So we'll go in for about nearly two ounces. Okay, and again, that's that Crown Royal Peach. Okay, I've got the ice in there. I'm gonna add a bit of lemon now. Yeah, there was a lemon there, did you know that? Okay. There, just one nice wedge. And I'm not gonna squeeze it because I don't like the lemon overpowering the whiskey. So when I make cocktails, I tend to leave the lemon unsqueezed. If you do want more lemon flavor, well then you just squeeze it. 
Okay, what's left? My brewed tea. Okay, so we'll pour that in. There we go. That was about six ounces, maybe a little bit less. So I'm probably making a slightly stronger drink than what's recommended on the label there. Again, that's one and a half ounces of Crown Royal peach, six ounces of iced tea and fresh lemon over, at, uh, over ice. Okay. Well, it smells like a nice iced tea. And the sugar in that Crown Royal peach is going to add the sweetness for your um, iced tea. So Pe Royal Peach Tea, nice name. And it really gets you that iced tea flavor, especially with a little bit of sweetness. There's not much whiskey flavor there though. Hmm. I think I'm going to add more because I don't get much peach and I don't get much whiskey either. So it all depends what you want in your cocktail. Do you want it to be a uh, sweet, easy drinking, minimal alcohol, minimal whiskey flavor? Then stick to an ounce. But if you do want to taste uh, the whiskey in your drink, then add more. There, now I get some peach going on there. Cheers, everybody. That's a really nice iced tea. Royal peach tea, I do like it. Very nice, good job, Crown Royal. Mm. Now be careful, because if you make it like I did, you got about two ounces of 35, 70 proof, 35% alcohol by volume uh, alcohol in there. Doesn't even taste, this tastes like iced tea. So sip that slowly because otherwise um, you'll just end up getting a little bit tipsy much more quicker than you'd like to. Mmm, very nice. Okay, one more cocktail to make. And I'll be using these. All right, now I've got my glass over here. I think that's too much ice, so I'm gonna take some out. And I'm not using any um, lime this time because I didn't really like that when I tried it on my own. And what I'm gonna be making, let's get rid of that. What I'm gonna be making Yep, that's the caramel. That's about an ounce, a little bit more. We'll just put that right in there. Okay. And then we'll take apple. And I've got, again, about a good ounce there. I'm going to cut that a little bit. No, I won't use all of that. So about half an ounce. A little bit more. Oh, and I'm nearly taking up all the space there. I think I've got to take more ice out. Sorry about for my fingers. Pardon me. Don't worry, I'm drinking it, so not you, so don't worry. Okay, that's better. Okay, too much ice. All right. Okay, now then, to that, we're going to add some ginger ale. And what I'm making is the cocktail on... Whoa. <laughs> All right, now what I'm making is the cocktail on the back of... Uh, the salted caramel box and that is the caramel apple Crown Royal salted caramel Crown Royal regal apple now. I reversed the the uh, amount. I did more uh, salted caramel and less Crown Royal uh, apple uh, Then we have half an ounce of lemon juice I'm not adding the lemon juice and four ounces of ginger ale, which I have right here All right, so let me put that back there Okay, ginger ale. Oh yeah, see now I can still smell the apple, I can still smell the um, the caramel, it's all nicely proportioned. Add a bit of ginger ale there. All right, and once you got your ginger ale in there, 
Then you want to throw in a garnish. Every cocktail should have a garnish. That is something for the eyes. It is something for the flavor and the enjoyment of that. So we're going to add an apple garnish. And I think I'll add a couple of slices. Whoops. I think three is good. Maybe four. Why not? It's my cocktail. <laughs> okay. All right. So we've got the salted caramel in there. Also the crown royal apple and we get the caramel apple cocktail. Cheers, everybody. Oh, again, you really don't taste the booze in here at all. So please beware. If you're making these cocktails, watch how fast you drink these. Because for me, this would be gone in 60 seconds. So take your time, sip it slowly. Hmm, but very nice. All right, so there you go. You got the um, the Royal Peach Tea Cocktail using um, Crown Royal Peach, the limited edition here for 2019. That's that one. And then we have the caramel apple using the standard Crown Royal apple that's available all the time and the limited edition from the uh, winter known as Crown Royal salted caramel. So anyway, beautiful stuff. And these will last a while, not quite as long as regular whiskey because of the sugar content, but should be okay for a couple of years anyway. All right, cheers everybody. Mmm, delicious. Oh, I really, I think this is my favorite, that um, royal peach tea. It's really, really nice. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the link right over here and hit the bell so you're notified of future Whiskey Whistles coming out very soon. And if you'd like to do a little bit more with Whiskey Whistle, check me out on Patreon. Become part of the Whiskey Whistle crew. Become a crew member. Patreon.com backslash Whiskey Whistle. Check me out there. Thanks for watching and take care. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now, and we'll see you next time.